Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see the next remaining topic about the provisioning tool. In last tutorial, we have seen how to create the root node for the business entity. So we, we created person as a root node for the business entity. So there are a couple of rest, a uh, couple of things we are going to see. The very first thing we are going to see is how to create a business entity and we are also going to see how to create relationships. So let's start today's session. So in order to create reference entities, we have to create a lookup tables. So we have in MDM hub, we have configured one lookup table. The name of lookup table is CLK country. If you notice on the advanced properties, we have enabled the lookup, lookup indicator. So make sure you have enabled for the lookup table. The rest of the things, so once you configure the lookup table, you can use that table for the doing lookup. For example, you can use uh, the country lookup table as a relationship. So let me show you that. So for example, you can take a right lock here. This is not mandatory to configure look for a ref, a reference entity or a reference root node, but just for demo purpose, I'm showing you. So you can configure. So resident country code is mapped to the country code. The country code is unique column in the LK country table. Once you are done with this, this, this step, particular which I'm showing it's not mandatory to configure the lookup on the party resident country code but we are just doing as a real-time implementation perspective so we are done with configuring the lookup table and it's uh, using in the party table then how to create reference uh, reference entities in order to create a reference entity of course we have to go to the provisioning tool go to the business entity modeling and in the modeling the very first section you have to choose the reference entities by default it will automatically selected if you want to select rest of any of the entities like business entity business entity view or the relationship you can use in order to create a reference entity we have to select reference entities click on create button whenever you create uh, click on the create button it will populate two views one is uh, the tree view and the second is the properties view and we have seen this basic properties in our last tutorial or the last session now in order to create a reference entity you have to first select the base object and the base object is clk country so even the mdm hub holds multiple tables in this drop down you will be able to see only those tables which have the lookup indicator enabled so make sure you are using that column then in the name you can use the country i would say r r e that is a reference entity in the label i would say okay just i will give the name as a country and in the label i would say lk cunt or yes let's give this name lk country label just to identify where it is getting shown then description you can explain what this is country lookup is a reference entity root node so we are creating a root node for the business entity we are creating the root node for the reference entities too then if you want to enable just enable this property click on the apply the label format will see in detail in upcoming session so this is just basic tutorial for now so we created the country also country lookup the next thing we are going to create is a relationships so how to create relationship uh, before going to show you that i want to show you one more thing so when we create or when we provide the properties to the lookup the changes automatically happen the label what you see here 
whatever you are going to give here that is getting displayed in the tree so that is lk country label is getting displayed here the name whatever you are going uh, you are going to give it's going to display in the name of this entity and the underlying object will be shown in the properties section now in order to create relationship we have to create one relationship table and that table present here for example we have created one relationship table the name of relationship table is c party rel what this c party rel contains it has the various columns such as party row id 1 party row id 2 and if you see the relationship of this party row id 1 is nothing but it has the relationship with the party table and it's a row ID object. However, party row ID 2 has a relationship of the with the party using the party row ID object. So this relationship need to be defined before create before going to create a relationship entity root node. So once you create such a table, like we have created a party relationship table here. So once you create with that, once you are done with that, you can go to, you can come to the provisioning tool. From the modeling, you can select the relationship. Click on the create button. Once you are done with that, you have to give the couple of things here. So you can give the name to the entity, uh, to this node as a party relation, party rel. Label will be, suppose, party rel label and description party rel relationship is relationships relationships entity root no now whether this relationship is bidirectional is it state management enable etc if it's enabled then you have to enable we can quickly check whether it's enabled or not for example you can go to the party relationship and check and is state management enabled or not it's not enabled so will not enable for now then select that table party relationship the rest of the fields will be automatically get populated based on the configuration in the mdm hub so you can see the relationship of the party row id 1 is pointing to the row id object of the party table and in the bottom you can see the party row id 2 is had a relationship with the party row id row id object the child business entity parent business entity are automatically populated the label uh, format will see in the upcoming session so you have to provide all these details once you provide this detail just click on the apply so so far we have created three entity or three root nodes for the business entities we have the person root node for the relationship we have the party relationship node root node and for the reference entity we have the country root node so this is very basic tutorial about how to create a different type of entities or root nodes. In the next upcoming session we will see how to use the business entity views and also we are going to see how to achieve the multiple child relationship. Right, right now we have just created the relationship that is between the within the parties. We might have the relationship between the address and the party. How to achieve that? So we will see that the the foreign key relationship how to configure so once you are done with all this configuration the next thing is this change is not getting reflected immediately to the mdm hub until you publish it so we have to publish this change so all these nodes we have created three nodes a reference entity node business entity node as a person and the third one is a relationship node so we have created three nodes root nodes will publish it in order to publish you have to just click on the publish button and the all the changes will be published to the database which you have selected here so right now i have selected cmx ors so all the changes will be published to this cmx ors if any issue comes during the publishing these changes you will see that error message here with the details and the root cause of that for example if you are publishing the change and 
you come across the situation where the database is not up or server has some issue you will able to see that now it says the following changes had not been published to the MDM hub so what are the changes the first change is add view config on CO views second change is add write CO config third is add transformation config add extension config add task config CO config searchable etc that should be fine the reason it is saying because it is checking all the configuration so for example task related oh, let me show you this is task config let me first confirm this and I will show you the task config where it is referring so no validation error do you want to publish the configuration file to MDM hub click on the publish button and now it will publish the changes what are you made actually whenever you uh, whenever you click on the publish just try to gather the, all the configuration you had done in your provisioning tool the task related thing which uh, I would like to show you that present in the uh, business entity so it checks on the so here is the business entity section so inside that there are multiple options available to configure so whenever you click on the publish button it checks all those configuration for example like transformation task extension so it checks for the all those configuration if if nothing is there so then that it is giving the message it is not able to publish because right now we are not configured anything that should be totally fine so we have to configure all these components one by one so let's see whether we can see so we need to just refresh it to see it back so right now we have published to the same XORs in order to see that you have to go to the database and see in the COCS config table it will show us details for now um, these are the just basic things we should be aware about in upcoming session we will see all these components in detail also we will explore the database also for the provisioning tool I hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand the provisioning tool in better way if you have any questions or queries do not mention to in the comment section of this this video also do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update on this MDM and the provisioning tool thank you again and have a nice time